This part of the exhibition is exploring different regions of India. And there are 28 different states. And we were lucky to reach out to different members of the Arizona Indian community through the Arizona India Association. And through their efforts, they pulled together looks from nine different regions to represent these incredible dress traditions. And not only did they bring garments into us, but representatives from that community also came in and the saris dressed the garments and made sure that each ensemble was absolutely accurate and correct for the region, for the traditions, and it was an incredible opportunity to get to observe and learn from them. So each of these ensembles represents a different region and they each have different traditions based on what materials are used to make the garments. Is it a naturally derived silk? Is it processed in any way? That's going to influence the color of the sari. That's going to influence the way that the sari is draped. The sari is broken into different segments of ornamentation. They are distributed specifically so that when the sari is wrapped around the body, the weight hangs correctly and the decoration is distributed proportionally so that you see specific patterns in specific places. Each of the saris in this section are draped differently because they represent different regions. The colors are different, the fibers are different. Some of them are silk, some of them are cotton, some of them are a blend. Some of them are draped into trousers. One of them is draped in the warrior style and it's this brilliant orange and um, saffron. But another one is a brilliant pink and it is called the Nuvari Sari and it literally translates into nine yard sari. Saris can be anywhere between four and nine yards long. That is an incredible amount of fabric to have um, draped around your body to move through your day. And so it's really an incredible, delicate balance of grace, poise, and gravity. This beautiful yellow ensemble you see is by the, is a representative of the Lombadi tribe, which is a nomadic tribe throughout India. And what's really incredible to me about this piece is that it shows the, the variety of, of surface design techniques that they encountered throughout their travels across India. So it's really quite um, an encyclopedic collection of the different traditions of the region. This is an incredible wedding sari from Southern India with sterling silver thread throughout. It is adorned with incredible jewelry. I think the bangles are such a significant part of this look because it's a really important matrilineal tradition. It's a gift that's given from mother to daughter for the wedding, and it's an important show of the family's love and the abundant wealth that surrounds them on their wedding day.